It's time to announce this week's Southern Tier Tuesday winner. Congratulations to Child Hunger Outreach Partners, or CHOP. The nonprofit is being awarded $2,000 from Upstate Shredding and Adam and Clover Weitzman. Joining us now in studio is Samantha Eck. She's the Marketing and Communications Manager for CHOP. Hello, how are we doing? I'm doing great, thank you for having me. Of course, so can you tell us a little bit about CHOP and give us a brief history into its conception? Yeah, so we started just under five, four years ago. We'll be celebrating our five year anniversary next year. Mm -hmm. And we started when our CEO and our founder's daughter came home and told her, hey mom, did you know that kids when they're in middle school and high school and they don't qualify for free and reduced lunch, they um, don't have lunch. Mm -hmm. They just don't eat. And so like any mom, she went to work and that was really the birth of CHOP. So we started serving one school in Tawanda and mm -hmm. since then we've expanded to over 100 schools mm -hmm. um, throughout Northern PA. Okay, amazing. Yeah. So what types of programs do you offer? So we offer the backpack program mm -hmm. and the in-school pantry program. And our goal is to primary ser primarily serve kids where they're at. So that means partnering with schools and community organizations. Mm -hmm. Our backpack program is the weekend meal bags that we distribute. And so that goes home with a child every Friday. And it includes breakfast and dinners for the weekend, as well as snacks and some fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. so that they have that hunger gap filled throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. The in-school pantry, we tend to serve older children, mm -hmm. um, middle schoolers and high schoolers, and that's grab and grow, go items that they can take throughout the day, and then meals that they can also take home, like mac and cheese cups, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the pop-up pantries. Is that yes. that's the same yep. thing? Yep. So that's okay. a little bit different. That's more community focused and mm -hmm. serving like mom and dad or those caregiver directly. Mm -hmm. They are able to do drive-throughs. We have pop-up pantries throughout the region, um, and that's where they pop up the trunk of their car. They drive through. Our volunteers and staff load them up with um, bread, meat vegetables, whatever we have from the food bank, and then they drive off, and we have that, like I said, once a month, and we also have a weekly produce distribution at mm -hmm. our Tawanda branch. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I was gonna ask, how do you decide what types of food to distribute? So our pop-up and community-based programs, like mm -hmm. the produce distribution, yeah. those include things that are more perishable in nature. Mm -hmm. um, it also depends on what we get from the food bank and what we get from donations from farmers and community organizations. Mm -hmm. um, we try to make sure that everything is high quality and that it's going out, but it's also part of the food resource. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things are by, behind their best buy date, yeah. um, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. Mm -hmm. And that's actually one of the things that we have as a challenge as an organization, just educating folks that we're not going to distribute food that's harmful to you, yeah. um, just that it's food that will help fill the gap for you. I mean, I'm definitely like the worst with that. I, we were just having this conversation the other day. I wait until my eggs are like a month gone and then yeah. I'm like, you know, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's not the right way to think about it, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah. volunteer wise, how mm -hmm. many people do you have? I know that you said that you're based in Northern Pennsylvania yes. right now. So how many people, if you could estimate, would you Gosh, say? We, I believe we said last year, we had like nine full-time employees provided mm -hmm. by volunteer hours. So wow. we have thousands of volunteers. Yeah. And that can include people who come in weekly, like they're part of a church or a rotary group, mm -hmm. um, to a family that comes in once a month month. So we have our Tawanda branch, but then we also have our Scranton branch as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so between the two of them, that the volunteers fuel what we do, mm -hmm. essentially. And then students and school-wise, mm -hmm. um, what would you say on estimate? So we served just last school year, we mm -hmm. just ran the numbers, and we served about 6,000 students wow. through our backpack program. Mm -hmm. And that's by parent sign up. So parents can choose to sign their children up. There's no qualifications just anyone can sign up for it at their school mm -hmm. and then in school pantry we serve just under um, 2400 mm -hmm. or I'm sorry 24,000 students mm -hmm. so really our reach is huge for yeah. someone in an organization that started with 45 kids 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. you guys are fairly new, too, because mm -hmm. it's only been four years, Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah, next wow. year, we're probably going to double that, depending on the schools that sign up. Yeah. Um, we have smaller districts, but then we also have larger school districts like Scranton. Mm -hmm. So. And are you looking to move more downstate in Pennsylvania? We're looking to move across the whole state. So mm -hmm. we work with the food banks that are already established in community organizations to figure out what gaps there still are mm -hmm. um, and how we can best serve those organizations and the kids. So really to expand, all we need is the schools to request that. Mm -hmm. um, and that comes from the parents and caregivers asking for the, us to start a program in that school. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. of course, I want to congratulate you on winning the grant for yes. the week. So how do you intend on using the money? Yeah, well, we're just going back to school here for our PA schools. So mm -hmm. we will be using that for our backpack programs and our in-school pantries. Mm -hmm. We say a dollar is about one backpack a week for a child. So that is 2,000 backpacks, which is huge mm -hmm. um, given the numbers I just shared. That's almost half of the students we serve yeah. with, that, with that donation. So we're so thankful. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes a difference. Yeah. Um, and then for people that are looking to get involved with Chow, how could they go about signing up to volunteer and mm -hmm. getting involved? Yeah, so there's lots of ways to get involved. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and mm -hmm. share our programs and our updates with your community. You can volunteer at our branches. We're open once school gets back in session. We'll be mm -hmm. open Monday through Friday. Um, and then you can also make a gift online by visiting our website, which is chopouthunger.org. All right, don't get ahead of me now. Okay. I got that information coming up. <laughs> okay. All right, Miss Eck, I want to thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So for those of you who missed those details, CHOP or Child Hunger Outreach Partners works to prevent hunger in communities through, innovate, through innovative and collaborative outreach programs. For more information on CHOP, please visit chopouthunger.org. For more information on previous grant recipients, be sure to check out Southern Tier Tuesdays on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. To learn more about the program, head to southerntiertuesday.com. And make sure to make every Tuesday count. Scan the QR code on your screen to nominate a deserving nonprofit for the chance to receive a $2,000 grant.